What's up, guys? We got quite possibly my favorite song of all time, guys. We got Eminem cleaning out my closet, the official music video. I actually can't remember the last time I watched the official music video. Probably like when I was like 10 years old or something insane, guys. I was super young, so this one should be a super good treat, guys. Make sure to drop a comment down below. Eminem, my favorite artist of all time. I'm a stan, guys. You know, I should have an Eminem poster up here. I'm going to get one someday. If I see them in town, actually, I'm actually going to grab one because I'm a, like a stan. But my friend gave me new headphones, guys. Why am I doing this? Because my friend gave me new headphones. Shout out to Ben. Absolute G. G unit. And they're sick, guys. They have the best bass ever, man. This, bro, this is crazy. So, I haven't listened to, like, any songs really on them yet. So, yeah, let's get it, baby. Let's go. <laughs> hey. Where's my snare? <laughs> I have no snare in my headphones. There you go. Yeah. I mean, this is an iconic beat, guys. This beat is so iconic. It's like one of the best beats I've ever heard in my life. And when you hear him rapping over this beat, it's like this quite possibly was one of the best times for Eminem ever, guys. The early 90s, sorry, the early 2000s. It was just amazing, guys. Just phenomenal. Have you ever been hated or discriminated against? I have. I've been protested and demonstrated against. Picket signs for my wicked rhymes. Look at the times. Sick is the mind of the and kid that's behind. All this commotion, emotions run deepest oceans exploding. Tempers flaring from Paris. Just blow them off and keep going. Not taking nothing from no one. Give them hell long as I'm breathing. Keep kicking ass in the morning and taking names in the evening. Leave them. Yeah, bro. I mean, this is just one of the best songs ever, like. When he's saying at the beginning here, he said, picket signs from my wicked rhymes. Like, he was so, bro, the thing about Eminem, I, I, I mean, you know, what's that phrase in The Dark Knight Rises? You know, you either live long, he said, you either die a hero or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain, you know? And these movies, I think, are written for a reason, guys. I mean, they're so powerful. That statement is so unbelievable because Eminem, although he's my favorite rapper ever, I think in the last few years, guys, and a lot of people kind of, bro, a lot of people disagree with me on this, but his stuff has gotten really edgy and stuff, but the stuff he's been saying outside of his work has kind of been a bit downhill. You know, he's not talking anti-government stuff anymore. He's not rebel kind of guy anymore. He's just like, kind of go along to get along. And I don't know do I love that guy. You know what I mean? I'm kind of more the, you know, get after it type of thing. So, I mean, it is what it is, guys. With the taste of sour, it's vinegar in their mouth. See, they can trigger me, but they'll never figure me out. Look at me now. I bet you're probably sick of me now. Ain't you, mama? I'ma make you look so ridiculous now. I'm sorry, mama. I never meant to hurt you. I never meant to make you cry. But tonight, I'm cleaning out my closet. One more time. I said, I'm sorry, mama. I got some skeletons in my closet and I don't know if no one knows it So before they throw me inside my coffin and close it, I'ma expose it I'll take you back to 73 Before I ever had a multi-platinum selling CD I was a baby, maybe I was just a couple of months My father must have had his panties up in a bunch Cause he split I wonder if he even kissed me goodbye No, I don't, on second thought I just wished he would die I mean, this whole song, guys, is revolutionary. It's kind of Eminem talking about his upbringing. You know, he said, I I'll take you back to 73 before I ever had a multi-platinum selling CD. Like, you know, when Eminem was young, guys, he grew up, what was it, Detroit or something? D Detroit. And, like, it's so horrendously poor that I remember Googling pictures of Detroit. It's just so poor. It's like, damn, bro, this guy grew up, like, on, on just the worst, you know, possible stuff. And now he's become famous. It's like... He had a really troubled upbringing as well. He's trying to tell us where he came from, you know, and it's just, oh man, it's crazy. I look at Haley, and I couldn't picture leaving the side. Even if I hated Kim, I grit my teeth and I try to make it work with her. At least for Haley's sake, I maybe made some mistakes, but I'm only human. But I'm man enough to face him today. That's yeah, fire, guys. That's a, that's a bar that every man can relate to. Every man can relate to that. Like, he said, you know, I didn't really like my wife, but... 
so my dad walked out of me, but I didn't really like my wife, but I would just stay with her because of the kid, because of Haley, his kid. You know, he didn't want to walk out in his marriage because he said, I just grit my teeth and I try to make it work, right? He said, but I made some excuses, but I'm mad enough to own these excuses today. But like, you know, <laughs> he said, I don't want to break up my wife or, or, or leave my kid because like my dad left me and I couldn't believe someone would leave their kid, you know? What I did was stupid, no doubt it was dumb But the smartest I did was take the bullets out of that gun Cause I'd have c***ed him And I would have shot Kim and them both It's my life I'd like to welcome y'all to the Eminem show I'm oh, sorry mama He said I would have shot Kim and M both I think he was talking about himself there He said I would have shot Kim Hold up, my god Kim and him both So he said I would have shot my dad And my, my girlfriend Right? Or, or he's talking about maybe the new, yeah, new husband that his wife is with. But I think he's talking about Eminem himself and then kill the wife, kill him, <laughs> kill himself. Like, Eminem had a crazy, bro, when I first listened to this stuff, I was like, this dude is off the chain, bro. I would have shot Kim and them both. It's my life. I'd like to welcome y'all to the Eminem show. I'm sorry, mama. I never meant to hurt you. And you know the powerful footage of him, of him, you know, basically burying his mom is crazy, man. You know, and then also in church praying about it, like it's just wild. One more time, I said I'm sorry, mama. I never meant to hurt you. I never meant to make you cry, but tonight I'm cleaning out my closet. Now I would never diss my own mama just to get recognition Take a second to listen for you think this record is dissing But put yourself in my position Just try to envision witnessing your mama popping prescription pills in the kitchen Tend that someone's always going through a person missing Going through public housing systems, victim of Munchausen syndrome My whole life I was made to believe I was sick when I wasn't Till I grew up, now I blew up, it makes you sick to your stomach, doesn't it, wasn't it? That's fire. So obviously he's getting awards and like he kind of disowned his mom and he said, yo, this is how I am. I'm the most famous person in the world and you know, pff, you guys are nothing to me, right? The reason you made that CD for me, ma, so you could try to justify the way you treated me, ma. But guess what? You're getting older now when it's cold, when you're lonely and Nathan's growing up so quick, he's gonna know that you're phony. And Haley's getting so big now, you should see her, she's beautiful, but you'll never see her. She won't even be at your funeral. <laughs> see what hurts me the most is you won't admit you was wrong. Do your song, keep telling yourself that you was a mom. But how dare you try to take what you didn't help me to get? You selfish. I hope you burn in hell for it. Remember when Ronnie died and you said you wished it was me? Well, guess what? I am dead. Dead to you as can be. I'm sorry, man. man that that for, that final bars are crazy, bro. You said you selfish bitch. I hope you bur fucking burn in hell for this shit. Oh damn, bro. That's crazy, bro. Eminem is the is the goat, bro. I love this man. Come on. Your song. Keep telling yourself that you was a mom, but how dare you try to take what you didn't help me to get? You selfish, selfish bitch. You burning hell for this. Shh. Remember when Ronnie died and you said you wished it was me? Well, guess what? I am dead. Dead to you as can be. I'm sorry, mama. That's crazy. I never meant to hurt you. I never meant to make you cry, but tonight. I'm cleaning out my closet One more time I said I'm sorry mama I never meant to hurt you I never meant to make you cry But tonight I'm cleaning out my closet hey. That's fire That's fire You know, you got Dr. Dre doing the violins there. I'm pretty sure Dr. Dre produced this. Yeah, one of the best productions of Dr. Dre ever. Fire. What a song. What a song. <laughs> you selfish bitch, I hope you burn in hell for this shit. Damn, bro. I mean, 
Eminem was the GOAT, bros, back in the day, man. He was just a psycho, man. So let me know what you guys think, man, cleaning out my closet. Obviously, the lyrics are hella abrasive, man. Like, one of the craziest lyrics I've just ever heard in my life. It's it's almost like a, a fascination that he didn't get cancelled or anything back in the day. I don't think they had cancelling people, but it was just crazy, man. Absolute beast. Best rapper of all time. Let me know what you guys all think as well. I love you all. Bruh, hit that subscribe button. Stay free. I'll see you guys in the next one, man. Peace.